Hey everyone, my name is Daryl Sakil and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to do data entry work in Microsoft Excel. The first way is a way that most people are introduced when using Excel. And the second way is a way to make things much easier. And with that said, let's get into the video. The first method that most people are introduced to when doing data entry work is by simply entering data into the spreadsheet. So for example, we have a list of employees and we need to fill out the first name, the last name, department, salary, hire date, and years of service. So let's get started. The first entry that I'm going to make is for our first employee, which is Avery. And I'm gonna hit the tab key to move on to the last name. And the last name I'm gonna put as Brown. Hit tab again to move on to the department, which I'll put as finance. For salary, let's do $100,000. For hire date, let's say she was hired June 1st, 2022. Or you know what, let's do 2012. And then for the years of service, let's use a formula to calculate this. So I'm going to use the equal signs and the year function and I'm gonna use the today function. So what this is gonna do is it'll calculate what the year is using today's date. So in this case, it'll be 2022. Then I'm gonna minus the year that appears in the higher date. So what this will do is it'll do 2022 minus 2012. just going to format this as a general and I'll show us 10 years. So this is the first method that most people are introduced to when doing data entry work. Now let's move on to using what's called a data entry form. The thing about the data entry form is that it's not found anywhere in the ribbon up top. What this means is that we actually need to find it in order to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'll select a piece of data in the data set and then I'll go to the search bar and search for form. And it's just this action right here. So I'm gonna click that. And you can see a form pops up and you'll notice that it's very structured. We have each column name here, so our first name and a text box associated with it. And then the same thing for last name, department, salary, all the way until we get to years of service. You'll notice that there isn't a text box there, and that's because it's formula based. So let's say we need to add a new entry into this list of employees. So in order to enter a new entry into our data set, we'll click the new button, and then we'll start entering information. So I'm gonna enter in the first name, and then the last name. The department will be human resources. The salary we'll put as $80,000 and the hire date we'll put as March 12th, 2015. And when I'm done, I'm just going to hit the enter key and I'll add the new entry to the bottom of our data set. There's a couple more things they can do with a data entry form. But first, I'm going to complete this data set of list of employees and then I'll show you what those things are. So now we have a complete set of data and I'm going to bring back up the data entry form. There's a couple extra things that you can do with a data entry form and one of them is by finding entries of data using criteria. For example, if I want to see entries where the department is finance, I'm going to go and hit the criteria button and in the department text box, I'll type in finance. Then I'll hit enter and it'll take me to the entries where the department is finance. Then I can click find next and it'll take me right to the next entry. 
Another example of using the criteria is, let's say I only want to look at employees where their years of service is greater than eight years. So I'm gonna hit the criteria button again, delete finance from the department, and in the years of service text box, I'll type greater than eight. Then hit enter, and you'll see that the form is going to show entries where the years of service is greater than eight. So this one has nine. This one also has nine as well. The last thing I want to show you is how to edit data that already exists in the data set. So let's say that we want to change the department for Hunter Jones from operations to finance. So we're going to bring up the form and then find the entry for Hunter Jones and then change the department to finance. Hit the enter key and there you go changed it immediately. And those are two ways to do data entry work in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. See you guys in the next video.